want we'll to talk about uh, fun sports club it's a, it's a wonderful question as ever if you have not tried this question if you have not tried solving it uh, hit pause right now uh, try this question solve it through try all variants and then we'll come back and solve this fine you come back and watch this fun sports provides training in three sports gilli danda kho kho and ludo g k n l currently it has an enrollment of 39 students each of whom is enrolled in at least one of the three sports fine straight away by the time you read this you should be saying set theory three sets nothing outside when it looks like that we might change our opinion but you should be jumping in and saying okay this is the kind of puzzle i'm getting into and if you're naturally comfortable with set theory puzzles you should just grab it and not nail this and so you should you should know that template really well the following details are known the number of students enrolled only in l is double the number of students enrolled in all the three sports wonderful so we are this reconfirms set theory only in l is double the number enrolled in all three sports so if you say this is g this is k this is l the total is 39 if this were x this would be 2x the total of 17 students in g the number of students enrolled only in g is one less than the number of students enrolled only in l this is 2x this is 2x minus 1 the number of students enrolled only in k is equal to the number of students who are enrolled in both k and l both k and l is this put together that is nothing but only only in k this is y this will be y minus x the maximum student enrollment is in l 10 students enrolled in g are also enrolled in at least one more sport 10 students are enrolled in at least one more sport at least one more sport is this region that adds up to 10 and so we made some of these inferences and drawn this and scribble this i'm going to do this in a much more structured fashion by drawing the, the theory key thing in a lot of these uh, puzzles uh, in set theory puzzles especially is to not increase the number of variables to have a clear idea of what the best starting point could be so here we're going to focus completely on in which order should we approach the constraints i love orders that are the constraint that are very specific that involve actual numbers or details i mean if, if you're dealing with too much of one is twice the other four more than the other greater than this minimum that least possible then all of those are constraints with the, with a greater than less than and maximum minimum thrown in whereas if you say ram has scored 14 shiva leaves at 4 pm kishore stays in the greenhouse that is specific to gravitate towards the specific ones right and jump in one specific constraint in this list is this number of students enrolled is 17 that is obvious the number of students enrolled only in g is one less than the number of students enrolled only in l so if this were x this will be x minus 1 and so p p minus 1 10 students enrolled in g are also enrolled in at least one more sport so that means this number all these put together adds up to 10 what does that give us we don't there are three different regions here but we don't have to worry about those three those three add up to 10 what we know is this remaining is 7 this is 7 it should be 8 Fine. So, this that this being seven, this being eight is a big giveaway. So this is seven. This is eight. Fine. Now let's see what else is clear. The number of students enrolled only in L is a double the number of students enrolled in all three sports. Only in L is eight. This is a double of this. This should be four. These two add up to ten. Sorry, these three add up to ten. So this plus this should add up to six. That much we know. And now let us look at the other constraint. The maximum student enrollment is in L. Then let's see which one is the next one to open up. The ten students enrolled in G are also enrolled in at least one more sport. This plus four plus this should be ten. Or these two add up to six. We call this as X. this will be 6 minus x and so 
now we get some more clarity 7 x 6 minus x 4 these three add up to 10 this is 8 now let's look at the next constraint the number of students enrolled only in k is equal to the number of students who are enrolled in both k and l so if we put this number as say y this will be y minus 4 the, these two y minus 4 plus 4 adds up to y these two put together should be equal to y so this is y this is 4 this should be y minus 4 with this we can possibly figure out 1 of x or y because we know that the total is 39 and the total is 39 7 plus 10 17 plus 8 25 plus 2y minus 4 25 plus 2y minus 4 is 39 or 2y is 39 minus 21 which is 18 or y is 9 how did we get 25 7 plus 10 17 plus 8 25 plus y minus 4 plus y is 39 or y is 9 this is 9 and this is 5 fine wonderful we've got this far we filled in every number possible we have only one constraint that we have not accounted for which is the maximum student enrollment is in l right so the number of students enrolled in l 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 4 17 plus 6 23 23 minus x enrolled in k is 9 plus 5 14 14 plus 4 18 18 plus x and g is 17 now 23 minus x should be greater than 17 23 minus x should be greater than 18 plus x obviously this is a better constraint because x cannot be negative so 18 plus x is more than 17 any which way so let's plug in that constraint and get some value going for x and so we know that 23 minus x is greater than 18 plus x 23 minus 18 is greater than x plus x 2x is less than 5 x is less than 5 by 2 5 by 2 is 2 and a half we're looking for integer values of x x could be 2 1 or 0 maybe there'll be some constraint which says it cannot be 0 but right now we'll account for 0 also x can be 2 1 or 0 everything else we know and we also know that x could be 0 1 or 2 keep that in mind now but, but beyond this we cannot go with a set of constraints given we filled quite a few numbers and we have two open cells with three possibilities totally now let's jump in and solve these questions what is the minimum number of students enrolled in both g and l but not in k in g and l but not in k we want minimum of 6 minus x x can take values only 0 1 or 2 if x were 2 this would be small so 6 minus 2 is 4 minimum value of g minus x is 4 that's what we're looking for and once you've got the entire set theorem set theory diagram built in then this question becomes far simpler the number of students enrolled in k and l are in the ratio 19 is to 22 19 is to 22 then what is the number of students enrolled in l 19 is to 22 l has 23 minus x k has 18 plus x this ratio is 19 is to 22 or x equal to 1 number of students registered in l l is 23 minus x 22 done we needn't have done any of this the ratio 19 is to 22 we're talking about integers it could only be 22 nothing else is possible Due to academic pressure, students who were enrolled in all three sports were asked to withdraw from one of the three sports. After the withdrawal, the number of students enrolled in G was six less than the number of students enrolled in L, while the number of students enrolled in K went down by one. So all three, these, are distributed away. They are asked to deregister for one course or remove their names for, from one course. They are supposed to withdraw themselves. These four are going to get distributed across this, this, and this. The number for K drops by one, or one of the students withdraws from K. That means one student goes here. From four, one goes here. The other three need to go here and here. So if one goes here, 
this is going to become 7 minus x. Right? Now we don't know how many go here and what go here. Totally 3 disappear here. Right? So this number, this should, if you can account for one other variable, if you say m students come here, then 3 minus m students go here. Totally 3 students go away from here into here. So let's rejig this diagram. Bang in the middle is 0. This becomes 7 minus x. So 1 has gone here. Some m go here. Some 3 minus m go here. Fine. Brilliant. So 3 plus x minus m is this region. This is 0. 7 minus x, 5 plus m, etc, etc, etc. Now we know, we've accounted for the idea that the number of students enrolled in k went down by 1. We have not accounted for the idea that number of students enrolled in G was 6 less than the number enrolled in L. G is 7, 14 minus X plus 3, 17 plus X minus X and plus X get cancelled. G would be 17 minus M. The total number of students in G would be 17 minus M. Number of students in L would be 8 plus 7, 15 plus 5, 20. 20 plus m minus x. The difference is 6. Obviously, the number of students in L is higher. So, 20 plus m minus x minus 17 minus m is 6. This is 3 plus 2m minus x is 6 or 2m equals x plus 3. Minus x comes this side becomes x. 6 minus 3 is 3. 2m is an even number, x plus 3 should be an even number. We know x can take only value of 0, 1 and 2. So x has to be 1. Only 1 plus 3 is an even number in this category, in this set. Or x is 1, which makes m to be equal to 2. How many students were enrolled in both g and k? g and k is 3 plus x minus m, 3 plus 1 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 2. Due to academic pressures, students who are enrolled in all three sports were asked to withdraw from 1. The number in K dropped by 1. L is greater than G by 6. It's exactly the same text. How many students were enrolled in both G and L? G and L is 7 minus X. We know that X is 1. 7 minus X is 7 minus 1, which is 6. Wonderful set. If you're comfortable with uh, set theory, you should be jumping at this set. It should be very doable. So you should you should know the chance of finding one set theory puzzle out of eight is very high. So if you do a bunch of questions, then you know whether you're at, at home with that type of question. If you are, you should jump in, nail that, and then carry on from there.